Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. My name is Steven, and today I'm talking about The Fall Guy. The Fall Guy, helmed by director David Leach, takes audiences on a wild ride through the thrilling yet treacherous world of Hollywood. Leach, known for his work on action-packed films like Deadpool 2, Bullet Train, and Atomic Blonde, brings his experience as a former stuntman and stunt coordinator to the forefront, ensuring an authentic and adrenaline-fueled experience. It's slightly influenced by an 80s TV series of the same name, starring a stuntman, Lee Majors, and his stunt crew who turn into bounty hunters using the tricks of their trade to nab the bad guys. So this film follows Ryan Gosling's Colt Seavers, a seasoned Hollywood stuntman turned valet, who finds himself entangled in a web of intrigue when he's unexpectedly pulled back into the movie making scene. Despite a turbulent history with his ex-girlfriend Jody, played by Emily Blunt, who's directing her debut film Metal Storm, Colt agrees to join the production in Sydney, Australia. However, what begins as a simple gig quickly escalates into a high-stakes game of deception and danger when Colt discovers that Jody never requested his presence in the first place and the film's lead actor, Tom Ryder, played by Aaron Taylor Johnson, has vanished under suspicious circumstances. And as Colt delves deeper into the mystery, he uncovers a sinister plot involving drugs, deep fake technology, and a deadly conspiracy that threatens not only the production, but his life. And here is where we get the fall guy as a double entendre. So as a fan of movies about the movie making process, I found the fall guy to be a delightful homage to the unsung heroes of the industry, the stunt teams. I mean, unfortunately, I couldn't name you a single stuntman besides Tom Cruise. I guess that counts, right? But this movie is a well-established world of stunts and you can really see the importance of these guys. So, the positives. The film really captures the essence of a 90s action comedy blockbuster, offering a nostalgic yet refreshing experience. It's a unique perspective to have the focus of the film on the stuntmen. I walked out of the movie thinking I actually had a good time watching it. And Ryan Gosling's evolution as an actor really shines through in The Fall Guy, as he effortlessly embodies the charm and wit of his character. This guy just oozes charm in everything he does. He's really grown on me recently, especially in his comedic roles, and I'm pretty impressed with his comedic timing and delivery. And his chemistry with Emily Blunt felt pretty genuine and believable. And as a movie about stunts, the well-executed action sequences, punctuated by car chases, explosions, and fistfights, keep the audiences on the edge of their seats. And things get pretty bonkers in the finale. It must have been a lot to organize. And I particularly appreciated the film's nuanced approach to comedy, which felt organic and never forced. I didn't get any of those eye-roll moments that I have of recent comedies. It's a chuckle here and there type of movie with a lot of smirks, made better by a large audience. There are also plenty of needle drop moments with the music, some funny, that audiences may or may not like. The radio hits are a plenty and noticeable, but it never really felt aggressive like a James Gunn film. So while The Fall Guy delivers on the premise of entertainment, it does have a few minor flaws. The pacing of the film can feel sluggish at times, particularly in the setup of Colt and Jody's past relationship. It takes a little while to get to the main storyline, lingering a bit too much on the romantic setup. In fact, I wish Emily Blunt had more to do than to just be the romantic counterpart. So the balance between the action, comedy, and romance occasionally feels uneven, with perhaps a bit too much focus on that relationship. And while it's a slow start, the plot also becomes slightly convoluted in the second half. However, these shortcomings don't detract significantly from the overall enjoyment of the film. And once the excitement gets going, it doesn't let up. So, for letter grade, The Fall Guy earns a solid B+. For its exhilarating action, genuine humor, and heartfelt moments. Despite its minor flaws, the film is a captivating cinematic experience that serves as a love letter to the stunt industry. Ryan Gosling's standout performance, as well as his own real-life stunt team in this movie, coupled with David Leitch's direction, makes The Fall Guy a must-watch for any fans of the action-comedy genre. It was a great movie, and if they just cut out a little bit more of that romance, would have been even better. All right, for those seeking further viewing options, The Stuntman from the 80s serves as an excellent companion film to The Fall Guy. We follow a man on the run who finds himself inadvertently involved in a movie production, masquerading as a stuntman. 
It offers another exploration of the behind the scenes chaos of filmmaking. Additionally, fans of Aaron Taylor Johnson's work in The Fall Guy may enjoy revisiting his performance in Kick-Ass. He portrays a character that finds himself thrust into the harsh realities of superheroes, providing a unique and compelling take on the genre. Alright guys, as always, thanks for watching. Subscribe for more content and see you on the next one.